Welcome back everyone. Josh here. We're just out at the lake today. We've got Josie and Annika having a quick swim. All around right here, starting to warm up a bit now, so it's good. Um, we've got the four traps in, four pyramid traps and one shrimp trap. And today, just for something to do, I've got this little tiny rod, little kid's rod. I've just rigged it up with a little hook, a split shot, and we'll throw it out and see what we can catch. Probably a carp, I'd say. Um, wouldn't be surprised, it's got to be yellow belly in here. They're all around. Um, never hear of anyone catching a lot of yellow belly out of here, but I'm convinced they'd have to be here. Um, here we go. This is one of the traps here. We've got one trap straight out there. Another one about 10 metres, another one 10 metres, and then another two down that, down past them clump of trees. And the kids are swimming here. Kids are swimming there, so. I don't want to throw any lines out there. We'll get this rod out and see how we go. Reeled in, Joe. I am. I'll walk out here a bit because I got it fairly deep. Oh my oh. god! There was a big one on there. There was a big one on there, but I missed it. <laughs> We've got a massive big fish here. No, can I keep hey, it? It's look at the size fish. of it. Can I keep Biggest it? Biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Can I keep it? Dad, you're swimming. There, yeah, you, it just pulled. It's a yabby. It just pulled. Just leave it. Let it leave it for a minute. It's out pretty deep and he's just pulled back, so I'll just give him a minute to get back on there. Yeah, it's on. I'm out He's on there. Do I wheel, Dad? No, I've got it. He just. He keeps pulling back every time we go to pull him up. Got him that time. Nice bluey. He's a monster. Nice blue nipper. No, the other one. Nice was and clean bigger. too. The other one was bigger. Yeah, I think the other one was bigger. It's not the same one. It's probably fish. Yabby, every time I go to the top, he keeps letting go. I might have to try and bring him in a bit shallower. He feels like a big yabby, but he's, he doesn't want to come up. Are we a fish? No, it's not a fish. Right. Oh, he's right to the top then, and he just let go. Just go back. Good for when you see the stinker. He, he doesn't go far, he's back already. Got him! Yes! He's a good one too. Oh. Look at the size of this fella. Whoa! Look at the size of that one. Don't Beautiful and clean and blue. They're the good eating ones. Wait, it's like no, blue no, all over. No slime on it or anything. It's almost like an electric blue and this other rod over here is going off too. We'll go and have a go at that. There's definitely one on here. Especially See how we go. Trap. Slowly go. Got him. That's He's a, a small bloody monster one. too. Look at the size of this one. That's a small one. Never seen a yabby so big. That's a small Oh, it's so <laughs> He's a little cute. tiny one. Ew, we might even just let him, let him go, eh? Yeah, or bait. Oh, I've got heaps of bait at home. Oh. I think it was Let already, that one go. Dad, I think it already has something on it. Um, I'll give you a bit of a look at the lake at the moment. Nice water. Got some uh, weeds growing out off the edge in front of these shelters. We've got these shelters all around. Um, which makes a bloody good um, camping spot. We've got barbecues, um, running water. There's a tap at every one of these campsites. Uh, we've got some skiers up here. I'll give you a bit a uh, bit of a look at this weed bed. We've got all these weed beds growing out into the... They grow out about four metres, which is perfect habitat for the um, yabbies. We've got a couple of skiers going past here. Ah, oh, the serenity.
Josie's going in to check her shrimp traps. She's just going to have to just watch out for crocodiles. I'm Come on. Yabby. Yabby won't bite you. Yabby ain't yet dead meat. Josie the bushman going out to check a big fish trap. What do you got in there? Well, you got a big yabby in there. She's got a big yabby in the shrimp trap. She was hoping to catch some fish. Nice blue one. You might let him go because he's not big enough to eat. Let him pinch me now. <laughs> we'll check these traps. This is number one. I'll send Josie out to get the last one. She's too scared to walk out here. We've done alright blinds. We got one out of that other trap, so I'm pretty confident we'll get something. Oh yeah. Oh. Two nice ones. They're big ones. Considering they've only been in for about half an hour. No one's going to pinch you. <laughs> we'll tip them out here and have a look. Look at that. Ooh, Beautiful cool. yabbies. Dad, they're blue yabbies. That means I can keep them. Beautiful blue. blue yabbies. Look at that. Dad, that means I can keep them. We'll go and put them in the bucket and check these other traps. Just missed this one. He was stuck under a stick. Just lift your line up there, Joe, so I can see where it is. I'm pretty sure he's come back. It's not a bad yabby. Don't miss it again. Got him that time. Oh, that is not a bad Nice yabby. one too. Look at that. They're nice, bloody clean yabbies. We'll keep that fella. I want to like an actual blue yabby. Yeah. yeah. Josie's got this second trap, or second pyramid trap. The third. Oh, nothing. That's surprising because we've been catching bloody yabbies here. No one. I reckon this trap here is going to do all right. Be careful, Dad. I put it out in amongst all these reeds and stuff. And it's been down away from where we've been mucking around, so you would think there should be something in it. I'll just go out far enough so I can just pull it straight up. Another couple of good ones. One nice one. We'll get him out and have a look. I want that blue yabby to keep. Can't we don't lose that one. Oh wait, you won't. That's a nice one. Nice and clean. Oh, look at the yabby. What we'll do, we'll just leave them sitting in the trap there in the water and we'll go down and get this next trap. We'll come down here. I've got this last trap down here a fair bit further, down in amongst all the trees and stuff. All of a sudden just bit me on the back of the neck then. Uh, it looks like a bloody good spot along here. I'll give you a bit of a look. Then I'll give you the camera back to the cameraman. Have a look along here. You've got all this weed and stuff that grow out into the water and all the trees are all overhanging the water. It's down well away from... Oh, there's a big bee on me just then. It's down, there's no more campsites along here, so no one ever really comes along here. Um, and the back entrance to the back of the, uh, the backwaters is only just up there, so I think we'll come camping out here um, in the next few weeks or month or so, and we'll camp at this spot. But anyway, we'll pull this trap in. I've probably been yabbering away how good it is and we won't have any yabbies in it. <laughs> It's only been in for oh, 45 minutes at the most. Look at that. Look at that blue. Some bloody nice ones. They're that all clean one. and big. Then look at that blue one there. Yeah. That's actually a blue one, not like a blue nipper. Blue. Oh. The savage too. <laughs> savage. Anyway. That one's my favourite because it's blue. I'll grab the camera and give you a bit of a look. It's just blue. Look at them. Bloody beautiful. What I'll do, we'll go take these down and I might tip them out somewhere down here and give you a look at them.
Keep these yummies out here and we'll give you a look at them. I want to get some branches in the water. Look at that. I'll stick a heap of branches in the water there like that so they can stop them from biting. Dad, we'll have a count how many we got. Dad, fish is gonna die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight. One behind here. Nine. My fish is gonna die, Dad. Ten. That one never fell off. <laughs> Eleven, twelve. That's scary. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Oh. <laughs> we got fifteen yabbies there. Um, pretty good size. We did let a couple go. Have a look in the bucket here. Bye. Pretty good size yabbies. Guys, one's nipper fell off. Yeah, one's lost a nipper. We did let a couple go. A couple of them smaller ones, so we would have got 20 odd. Not too bad. These lines are still going off. Now um, we're gonna call it a day here. And we'll go in and um, cook them up because they're oh they're beautiful clean yabbies. We'll come out here, definitely be coming back out here through the bloody summer and um, getting a feed. If you want a feed of them, this is the place to come. Here we are back in the kitchen. No, not really. Um, out on the barbecue. I'll give you a quick look at what we're doing today. I've just got the tails. I've put them in the freezer for a while to stun them. Um, snapped the tail off. And then pulled and twisted that middle flapper at the back and pulled it out and it deveins it, takes the vein out of it, which is the poo bag. Um, now they're all beautiful clean tails. Um, just give them a rinse off and a bit of water. There was no slime or anything on them though. All clean blue tails. And what we've got here is just a pot of boiling water with a heap of salt in it. I put heaps of salt, nearly like um, like seawater almost and i've got a few of the big nippers in there I'll just tip them in beautiful almost instantly red i'll just give them a bit of a stir make sure they're all in there properly that salt's dissolved And that'll literally take about three minutes. I'll moved over into the shade. Um, hopefully it doesn't affect the video too much. I'm sure you can still see me. Um, give you a look at these tails. Oh, Jesus Christ, they come up bloody nice. Check that out. I've got one peeled. He's a nice big chunk of meat too. All clean. And that's the way to do it. Take the heads off, de-vein before you cook them. Um, and they peel much easier. And the salt water soaks into the tail. Makes it absolutely bloody delicious. Mmm. Absolutely perfect. Fair chunk of mean that fella too. I'll just give you a quick look at something. Josie bought that little fish home. It survived in the in the bucket all the way home with the, all them yabbies. Um, and yeah, and it's fine. Tough bloody little thing. But anyway, if you like the video, I'm going to sit here and eat these. They come up bloody magic, I reckon. Just an absolute magic, clean, beautiful, fresh tails. We'll sit here and eat these. Um, I'll go and get them pair. I've got to keep this dog away. This dog can smell them. She had, she actually got into a couple of the heads and ate the heads raw. And she seems to like them, so when she wants to eat them, she can. Um, yeah, we'll go and get the girls, and they can have a crack at a couple of tails, and we'll catch you on the next one.